first thing is let's get the recording because you know me I don't want to I don't want to miss anything all right wait so uh, you weren't recording all, all my good cranking off jokes no 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 it, like, oh, that's, God. That's, that's he, he gives us time to get it out of our system okay that's extra footage, footage. Extra okay footage. yeah you gotta, you gotta subscribe for that all right um all right, I'm going and that's uh, check us out on Patreon for all <laughs> behind the scenes content. <laughs> yeah. Cup of coffee a month will get you all the behind the scenes Doom Hand content you can you can uh, hope for. <laughs> Let's Truth. see. Um, right. All right, um, and we are we're live, I think see um well welcome back mm -hmm. to agoth doomhand and the skulls of power um let's uh let's get this going so i don't know exactly uh where we left off last time do you guys hold on hold on i'm not seeing you on twitch Double check. This is new software. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm showing that you're up, but it's oh, there it goes. It's just the my mod screen is breaking. There we go. Now I was, had to reload it. There we go. Um, I think we're live on on YouTube. For YouTube. Time. Let me double check too. So that should be pretty pretty uh, interesting and. Groundbreaking. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. So last time on uh, Agath Doomhand and the Skulls of Power, I am going to need everyone to roll initiative. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, close roll to for recap. Roll for recap. Let's go. Baby. Wait, before we go on, are we high or low? Yeah, we high or low. Oh, yeah. Last time we did high. So let's do low. So one, you don't have to, you don't have to recap. But boy, if you get a 20, Chris, this could be your waste. I got a 19. Uh oh, so that's pretty uh -oh 16. Oh, All right. I got a 16 as well. All right. Good luck, Spencer. Um, I will do this recap while my daughter hands me a heart thing to play with and put it back together. Um, no, no, that's mommy's. Okay. So last time on um, Agat Doom Hand and the Skulls of Power. Our heroes decided to go to the past, right, Margo? And um, tried to, uh, they used the teleport spell from the time dragon that the crystal gnome gave them, um, or allowed, or like, I guess he's, he's holding it open. And you have 24 hours exactly from the time that the spell was cast um, to get back. And I believe you guys decided that um, because the blue skull was was in the in the in the who knows how long ago the blue skull was taken by the mind flare and absorbed into his into his head somehow um, mm -hmm. that you guys would go into the past and place it. Now, the, the time period in which you went uh, to the past is before the Strezzle Colony Mind Flayers took the original Blue Skull. So the Blue Skull is somewhere in uh, Strygard. Um, and, oh, Striad, rather. And you guys are going to be... I think you guys are trying to look for it. I'm speaking for you. I'm the DM. Um, you guys are the players. So I guess the plan is to go and go there, try to swap it out for a fake. Um, you guys know that in the, in the present time, uh, like the back of the, the back to the future present time, like days of future past X-Men, great movie. Um, Doomhand already has the blue skull. So um, mm -hmm. you're trying to swap it uh, with something else. And you guys made it through the portal. You guys walked along. Um, 
the little valley here, and you guys actually went over towards the um, castle where um, what was his what was the gentleman's name there? Um, going blank on his name, the Crystal Gnome. Uh, come on, baby. Well, he yeah. shall be named later. Um, that's his palace, and there's some sort of weird magical spell being cast that's clogging the uh, the way. You guys could have you guys could have figured out how to get through that uh, blockade of, of crystals, but you guys decided to uh, follow a uh, slave trader um, towards a small market on the outskirts of uh, Striad and. He was about to trade. I believe he was about to trade some some slaves, and the slaves that you guys um, can identify uh, or identified as uh, belonging to the drows. They all sort of mm-hmm. uh, the slaves that were being sold were drows or looked like drows. And somewhere along the lines, uh, something happened, and you guys noticed that the that there were. There were mind flayers and gnomes uh, coexisting, and you notice that the, the mind flayers sort of just stopped what they were doing. There was a there was the, one of the slave traders was a, was a mind flayer, and he sort of left, um, stopped trading, and went off into the city. I think you guys followed. You, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, followed along into the city, um, the small little town of um, where we left off, and I think. Uh, is there anything else that I remember? Um, the group was about to head towards the market. Um, that's where we had. Oh, uh, oh no, there was a there was a um, there was a wagon, and in the wagon, I think Aranus was trying to look for something in the wagon. That was Aaron. Aaron stole a number of crystals from the wagon. Yes, that's what happened. A few of different different varieties. Yes. And that's where we, that's where I think we're, we're at right now. Um, We all, the rest of us walked in following the mind, our mind flayer friend Sprock. You know, mind flayer friend Sprock. Yeah. But um, Sprock and Aaron have decided to, uh, who knows? Um, can you guys get into tabletop? I'm trying to load it up now. Let me reload real quick. I'm still not seeing it. Yet. All right. Remember the password. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I just, I just, there you are. I just uploaded it. Yeah. Um, so you guys were all standing sort of at the entrance. Um, they had opened the entrance to let in the, um, the crew, um, you sort of walk by. I think people were giving you the, not necessarily like a, a weird eye, but um, definitely. Uh, Side eye, like just a little yeah, glance like, kind of know, thing. I, yeah. I, I haven't seen high elves down here in, in, uh, in forever. There's um, the group. Let me delete some of these characters here that are either dead or non-existent. And there you guys are. Hero Forge minis, baby. Can't get better than that. Um, okay. You guys are in town. Did I miss anything from the uh, recap? I feel like I brushed over. No, that was pretty good. Some very we've released plot the, details. We've released the um, drow, the, sla- yeah. uh, the slaves. We let them free, and they ran away. Nice. Um. I don't think anything else happened. We did a lot of exploring and we are mm-hmm. on a time crunch. And I know in my other notes, I have the schedule of time of where we are, but I don't have my notebook with me now, so I don't know anything. Yeah, I was going to ask, do we remember exactly where we are on the time? No, I think uh, we're yeah, like no, an hour down. into it. I have that written down. An hour in. I believe so, because I know it's like 10 or 15 minutes to get from place to place. You guys, oh, here, here are my notes. What a sh- shit. Um, you guys are 10, uh, it, you started the, 
uh, exact. We actually did it from last time. Uh, when you entered the, uh, it was ten thirty. No, it was nine thirty two. Um, oh, is, we rolled for it. I remember. Yeah, we rolled for that. It was nine thirty two p.m. Um, it is now uh, the session last time ended at ten thirty seven p.m. Oh, that was pretty good. Fun hour. Naglin's, Naglin's Palace. Sorry. Go ahead. Nagland. Yeah, Nagland. All right. So I think our sorry. device. I mean, our uh, pace is pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Well, we so what we're planning to do. It's true. All right. One twenty so fourth of the way, just to get into town. Hmm. We know we need to save at least an hour to get out. Well, you have. If we leave the same way. Well, that's yeah. the only way towards yeah. a portal. So far, so far, true. Two hours have passed. You have twenty twenty two hours to get out of there, essentially. So we have some blue crystals. Uh, we have the sword. Fuck, I forgot this. what's the name of the sword. We have the sword from some Naglin. what's his name, Naglin, to give to younger Naglin to prove that we are from the future. The benefits of having two uh, notebooks and going back and forth. Uh, the the sword that you that he gave you is called um you might just have to make up a name the sword of tranquility yep yeah. tranquility mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that correct i can that? see yeah that is correct i can see where it is on the page in my notes okay. from when i wrote it okay. all right so now let's find Nagland because I think he'll be yeah, our best. I was going to say, I of... feel like that's probably the way to go. Interesting. Okay, so mm -hmm. you guys, um, Aranus and Sprock are going to be with you until... Um, one until of they're you, not? Yeah, until they're not. One of you will, you guys will um, do their actions, I guess. Um, I can play if you want, but I've been told not to roll for Aaron because... <laughs> Well, for obvious reasons, I, we'll we'll I, roll for our crew. Thank you I, very much. I want him. Yeah. I want him to suffer pain. Um, I mean, for now, I feel like uh, we're just exploring. They're just they're just part of the group, right? Yeah. Um, we don't even have to move around um, for this portion. It'll just be mostly getting to know. But go ahead and, and who's leading the group here? Ignis, give me a perception check, and I'll let you know. You're um, if you get anything higher than your normal perception. Um, I will tell you. 18. 18, and your passive is whatever. Okay, so you come across, um, you, you, get 17. Through, you get through this, uh, oh, so just one better. You get through this, yeah. um, this gate, and you see to the left of you, um, there were some carriages. And I'll just draw it real quick. There's one here, and there's one here. Um, and Aaron was over there. Uh, looking through to see if he could steal from them. Um, he ended up being able to swipe a couple, uh, and Sprock, he and Sprock were able to swipe some white and red crystals from, from that. Um, and I thought I got some blue ones, too. Some blue ones, yes. Aaron got some blue. Yes. Yeah, here we go. Blue, yeah, one blue, one uh, yellow, and one red. Um, and you see in front of you what seems to be like a very peaceful group of people, um, people is a term used loosely. They are predominantly uh, gnomes uh, mixed with a heavy mixture of uh, gray looking ceramorphs and also mind flares. So ceramorphs, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong about the lore, I think, I believe a ceramorph is going to be a cross between two species. One, one of the species is the mind flare and the other one is the um, like I think the ceramorph is something that has changed. It got the tadpole in the brain and changed versus being like an outright. Um, actually, I think it depends on how they transform. So if this if the 
tadpole is strong enough, they become a mind flare. If not, they remain stuck in, in the in between. So in limbo between the two yeah, species. Yeah. So there's a lot. So of, Jake is a Sprock is a ceramorph. Yes. So there's a lot of ceramorph Sprock looking guys. Um, viewers, this is what this is what uh, <laughs> if I try to get uh, Sprock's face in there. That's hilarious. This is what a ceramorph looks like. That's so funny. Um, and then the there's also gray uh, gray looking mind flares. Um, you guys are smart enough, and actually Stag and Ignis don't believe Ignis. Did you did you do have run-ins with mind flares? Were you in the yeah in the wall or, or was that different yeah so ignis you you are oh, no that wasn't ignis who was that that was uh pliskin pliskin uh, yeah okay um well you've heard rumors and rumblings from um and you also see have communication with Sprock, i have so, I mean, yeah Sprock i was gonna say Sprock, I, know, I know what's going on you know that you know what you're looking at um but you also are sort of amazed because you know that mind flares are sort of generally worried about the mind hive um, and sort of trying to uh, sort of spread like a like a like a uh, parasite over to everyone. But you do see that there are some gnomes, some crystal gnomes, and these crystal gnomes um, aren't just ordinary-looking gnomes. They are gnomes that actually are sort of stiffened and have crystals sort of growing out of out of themselves. So their gnome-like uh, physique um, is a little bit harder, a little bit rougher. And they actually have pieces of crystals either deliberately inserted, you don't know yet, or somehow growing out of them, almost as if they have... Um, it looks like they belong here. You look around the room, I mean, around the, uh, the area, everything's made out of crystals. They don't, it doesn't look like this nice little town I've made here. Um, every, it does, it does look similar to it, but let's just say that the wood that you're looking at is a certain type of red crystal. The walls are a certain type of, uh, uh, maybe a, a yellower, duller crystal for, for aesthetic purposes. So this whole town seems to be built out of crystal, um, and that's where you're at. You do see a, a large mm -hmm. market up in front of you. Mm, markets. And there are large buildings, some weird lighting, 1970s. Um, All Maglin right, what are you thinking? Say, Macklin did say this was a, a, a bustling town. So yeah, but I, I also feel like any of their technology is going to be dated, but I guess they did potentially make well, the skulls or play a part in it. So, Hey, th this is a civilization that got destroyed. We don't know how their level of tech. It's true. You, you saw that gun that that guy had, it just this disintegrated crystals. Yeah. We should maybe get one of those. That would be helpful. Well, they might have uh, it at the uh, the shop. At the yeah, to if the anything, they would like know where Nagland is. Yeah, let's go cruise to the, to the market. Want to go cruise to the market? All no. right. Um, okay. Matt, you have your your character. You have control of your character. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, we'll leave. We'll leave. Matt. Am I measuring right now, or are we just no, going? No, you're just going. Um, as you okay. get to the market, you hear some. Some people say, um, you hear, um, you actually hear a language known that, that the mind flares are, are trying to talk and it believe it's called or something quilt. Um, but they are slithering and slurping, um, trying to communicate to each other. Um, and there are ceramorph interpreters in front, um, and you hear a gnome, and the gnome says, um, Chris, roll me a, D t a d20, but just a d10. Roll me a d10. No, roll a d10. A six. Um, he says, uh, there's, a, there's a gnome that comes out, and he says, Welcome, strangers! Well, 
welcome. And he sort of comes over to you. I don't know where you guys are. And he says, uh, ooh, you guys look like you're from out of town. Um, here I am with my dwarf accent again or whatever. Um, welcome. My name is Grathril, and uh, this is the market of Ameth Strusher. Ameth Streicher. Um, I am Grothrill Amistreicher, and this is my market. I have owned this market for quite some time. These are my Saramore friends. They mean no harm. We are one with the Mind Flare colony here in this, in this Underdark. So if you mean to do harm to them, you'll have to fight all of the gnomes in Striad. Do not be so obtuse about your friendships. I warn you once, other people around here are not so forgiving. Um, sort of trying to inform you about, I guess, some sort of fantasy-like racism um, against the Mind Flayer uh, colonies. Um, and he says... Uh, Now, Matt, roll me a G10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, seven. Calbanol? Calbanol, where are you? Calbanol. Uh, and this uh, Saramorph sort of slithers over. And he's sort of half half slither, half says, Yes, uh, yes, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Mr. Amistrash? You called for me? He says, um, you show this, uh, show this group around the market. I believe they, they are new here. Um, is it okay, lads? Uh, what, what was your name, sir? And he points towards, uh, towards Stag. Oh, um, my, my name is, uh, Seth Hartley, and um, we we have no hostilities towards mind flares or to you gnomes. My friend, and I'll put his arm around Sprock. He has gone undergone a process similar to a number of the people here, and we're just here to see our friend Nagland. Hmm, interesting. Would happily be shown around by Gelb and all. Nagland, you say? Well, uh. Is it some sort of blue-skinned? Uh, you know, there are more than just one type of mind flare colony. The gray ones, the vessel colony, they uh, happen to be very friendly. But this one here seems to be... I don't know what colony he's from, but I've heard rumors that there are colonies that mean to do harm to others. Not like the vessel ones, though. Right, my lad? Uh, my lad, uh, Calbanol over here. He belongs to the, the great vessel, Calbanol. Um, and he says, uh, but have no worries. Uh, I don't think this Saramorph you call Sprock means to do any harm. Um, he says, now Naglin, uh, well, uh, Naglin happens to be in his... He's always studying in his palace. He's known around here. His uh, family was once, or is, a high... His Naglin, it, this Naglin's family stands on the, on the board, if you will. Um, we don't have a monarch here, but we do have a board. It's made up of these board members, and they vote on things... Um, passing into the community, though we're pretty open with everything. Um, the board members, they, they shift, but I don't want to bore you with politics. Uh, you could probably find him in his palace. He is mischievous, though, I will tell you this. He studies a lot about time and time travel. I just don't quite understand um, his... his... Uh, his purpose. We are we are in the now. Um, but anywho, 
um, this uh, Calbano, um you can also refer to him as Slet, which is his first uh, nickname we gave him back in the day. Um, when things get going, we like to have a quicker way of communicating. Slet is that name. Anyway, um, if you need anything, uh, you can certainly shop at the market. We have all types of food, equipment um, can be had. We are known for our crystal uh, uh, crystals. We also mine for them. So if you have some crystals, um, I should sort of uh, point you towards the the mill if you if you wanted to get dangerous about it. Uh, the mill worker named Dackland uh, happens to be pretty good at combining your using your crystals. Um, certainly, the outsiders like you would. That's very helpful. Thank you. Um, please, please enjoy. Mm. Oh, and don't be, don't uh, forget uh, before you leave. I almost forgot. If you really want to see something special tonight, you came on the perfect evening. Once a year, we have what's called. The night of harmony and it's a ceremony um it's open to all where we well the essence of striad you'll you'll see it's wonderful the whole community will be there fantastic and it will take place at um, Matt, roll me a d12. We're going to add that time on to the, the clock. Ten. It will happen at, so 1037 plus 10 hours is going to be what? That'll be 830. 830. 8.37 a.m. Uh, he doesn't know what time, but or in the morning. Uh, we have uh, the, the harmony uh, will be had um, over at the cathedral. So there you have it. Welcome to Strygod. Enjoy. He sort of turns away. Um, if, unless you. No, oh, he'll uh, uh, address the mind flyer that is there to help guide us around the market. Um, Jellybean? Can I call you Jellybean? Does that work for you? Sure. Um, yeah, do you happen yeah. to have a place that uh, offers tattoos around here? He, uh, you hear in your mind, yes, you can call me Jellybean. I don't know what a tattoo is. Um, I'll point to the symbol on Sprock's face. Oh. Something like that? A marking. Yes, and marking. Well, there are all, all types of shops. I'm sure that you can find yourself a good marking in at the village bar known as uh, Chris, roll me a d20. A, what is that? A two. At the village tavern, known as, well, just two? Yeah. <laughs> known as the Bard's Trousers. Stag will look down at his own pants. I don't understand. I, for one. Would love, and he's. You hear this in, the, in your mind too, Matt, because he's. He can only speak to you telepathically. I for you, Matt, uh, Ignis. Love myself a nice glass of jungle juice. 
the bard's, at, the, at the, the trousers. The bard's the bard's trousers serves the best sort of jungle juice. No, I'm, I look back at Stag and I'm like, oh, wow, I don't know about this place, but I don't say anything. I just give him the give him the eyes. Sort of like weird because he's not he's not actually his face isn't moving, but you're hearing him think. And he's just, right, so it's extra creepy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least when Sprock te- talks to us communi- um, telepathically, he still speaks normally. He's sort of right. This is just weird. Because <laughs> he he's a strange one. You can see him struggling. <laughs> he's like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but nothing's coming out, but you can hear him in his head. That's got to be so fucked up. Mm-hmm. I mean, messed yeah. up. Come on, we got underage viewers here. Um, Please. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, the market's yours. Um, what, do you, what would you like to do, Matt? You like a, you look like a guy that likes um, adventure. What would you like to do? What I would do. You like to see? I'd like to search around the market a little bit, just in case they got some cool shit. I'd like to have my eye out for a crystal laser gun or whatever the fuck that was, mm-hmm. um, and also any bow weapons or daggers of any kind. You know, the stuff I would typically have but any interesting versions of it i just need like a nice dagger but if something caught my eye do you i can see to... you're you're looking for something and i'll uh go to hold your hand like a little kid because <laughs> i'm short and i'll give you guidance uh give me a okay. perception check i mean you could just ask your new friend but um give me a... no i specifically don't want to ask him about well <laughs> <laughs> about what I'll, weapons are yeah like i don't want to i'll ask him where the crystal laser thing is i rolled a 26. um with your guidance oh what's guidance plus the d4, a, a d4 yeah so i rolled a 27. Slet. and i tap him on the top of the head and i say thanks for your help Slet. i'll let go of the hand slet kelbinol aka jellybean is going to say, uh, is going to mind flare, um, communicate telepathically to you. And he's going to say, uh, jelly bean in here, jelly bean here. Um, <laughs> I understand you oh, beans are back. interested in some sort of weapons. Um, you, you have to understand that we are a, a town of peace and harmony. No, AKA Mr. Bean, thing. Mr. Bean. Yes. Hold on. I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, sir. But I, I'm not looking for weapons. I'm looking for one of those laser crystal thingies. It's crystal like a guns. mining device. Mining tools. Yeah, not well, weapons. I was just going to say, you have to, in order to keep a city like this, you must also invest in weaponry. So we here have the best weapons. Oh, okay. But I'm not, I'm not t- typically interested in that sort of thing, but I don't want to be rude, so why don't you show us this your market, wares? This market is mostly for food and trade and slaves. Uh, why don't you follow me over towards the mill? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ducklin Orfoot's mill. Um, and he's going to lead you... I believe this is it. Ducklin Orphan's Mill. Um, and this is going to be cool. Check this out. Give me a second. As you get over there, you see that um, there's this big, it's smoking, this thing. Um, this mill is smoking. And uh, as you walk in, inside there you go I put a uh, invisible flat surface here so you guys can now go into the mill you just have to follow me oh. over um, well. here I got you don't you worry uh, but you'll have to follow me on the screen oh up on above the mountain oh, oh this way well fine ah. there. um and you'll walk into the mill. Am I doing it right? 
and you'll hear some some old crab start saying, "Ah, just just keep the fires going." Gosh. Um. You know, uh, thank goodness the. <laughs> Thank goodness the uh, harmony ceremonies tonight, or else uh, I, would never, I would never get a break. Good gravy. This stuff is tough. And uh, you see a hard-working um, gnome in front of you. Uh, and um, you see the... Uh, what you who you guys have mentioned is Jelly Bean, sort of hold his hand up to you guys, and he holds his head, head hand on his head to sort of signal to you guys that he's communicating. And um, Declan turns uh, turns around, and he says, "Oh, Slit, what brings you here?" We heard you were the uh, the finest craftsman of uh, this here crystal in this town. Interesting. We heard uh, you could do incredible things with some raw crystal. I certainly am the best. That's that's neither here nor there. Um, it's certainly not there, if you understand. Um, but uh, what sort of uh... <sighs> I guess if uh, Slat is vouching for you, uh, usually I don't take orders from newcomers until they prove themselves. Um, but if Slat is uh, vouching for you, and I believe him, um, Slat, are these people uh, worth... W worth the adventure? Um, Slat sort of looks at you guys um, and looks back, and he says... Um, and he communicates to all of you guys, and he says, well, uh, Gathril told me to show him around, and, well, this, uh, this gentle lady wanted some sort of, uh, bow, um, and I said that for the right price you could craft him something. Uh, Can I... Can I, like, survey the room while all this is yeah. happening? I don't want to move. I just, like, I'm, you know, I want to use my senses. Fine. Fine. There's nothing to hide here. You you yeah. see that this uh, this room, there's there's plenty of uh, crystals. Um, it's like an art shop. Oh, like a, like a, think of, a, like, a woodworking uh, or clay clay shop. Um, there's a lot of, like, dust and uh, broken crystals all over the floor. There's desks where um, uh, obvious hand labor has been has been uh, performed. Mm -hmm. There's a big uh, melting pot in the back for forging things. Um, there's a big sign up on the on the top that you can't read because I don't think you know Gnomish. But um, I do not. Uh, if you were to ask someone, um, it says something very similar to. Um, the mill on, on it and there there's is, um there's there are tools there are weapons being forged um and it seems to you that this guy is an artist of some kind whether he's a mill worker or a um mm -hmm. some sort of crafter um, but it is just it's just the four of us in here yeah as far as i can tell okay yes. well is our is uh sprock and oh right Aaron so it's the same with us too yeah yeah good question yes. okay yes. okay i just want to make sure so i can get something from Aaron. so just so i'm just throwing we we uh, outnumber them four to two you yeah. see uh you give me a did you roll me a perception matt yeah 26. Okay. oh no that was old that was old no, uh, oh, 12. You see a very familiar looking uh, painting. You see a painting of someone who looks very familiar. Um, and it looks like it 
it looks like um, Naglin uh, hanging up in the uh, on the wall. And in the photo, there are images of there's a sort of like a abstract expressionist image of Naglin, and there's an hour hour. It looks like a Dolly photo where there's Naglin mm -hmm. standing in the middle, and there's all these what you can kind of see as hourglasses floating all, all, all over the painting. Um, okay. but that, that's, it's, it's interesting to you because that seems to be the only clean, non crystal dusty thing in, in the cabin or in the, in the mill. Mm -hmm. Some new artwork I see. He says, Oh, the Naglin. Well, uh, the Naglins have been, uh, part of the board for as long as I've been here at least they've ne never done us wrong and for some reason the youngest uh, member of the Naglin family well let me just tell you he has an interest in time and I will always honor that he has been telling me that if we were to get the right I wouldn't say plans, but I do want to say if we knew how to construct something, well, Striad is the place you'd want to be. See, these crystals, they aren't just bricks and mortar. They carry with them an element of magic, each and every one of them, binding to each other, making the elements around them stronger or less superior than they were before. Really, it depends on which ones you you want to use to make the device. But Naglin has been informing us, trying to get us to focus on an element of time. I don't know what the boy's up to now, but he says to me that it's important. So you see, there's a certain aspect of time and space. I don't quite understand what he means by space, but apparently above us, beyond us, beyond these rocks we call the Underdark, there's another place. And above that, there's some sort of space and bright and bright looking stars. I don't even know what those are, but anyway, you can see it's in the photo and you look at the photo, there's a couple star lights. There's, there's time, uh, warped, um, hourglasses and, uh, an image of what looks like to be either Naglin or a Naglin relative. Um, that's it. That's, that's what I got for you. That's my role play for, for this guy for now. Um, and Matt, uh, he says, okay, um, what is your name? Ignis. Ignis. What brings you here? Enough about uh, Naglin. Oh, actually, I'd love to hear more about Naglin. We're, we're actually looking for him. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm sure he's going to be at the... Um, the harmony yeah. ceremony uh, later today. Mm -hmm. yeah, as will I, as will I, of course, of course. Um, do you know where he might be if we wanted to find him before that? Yes, he'd be in his palace. There's a secret passage. Um, but don't quite think we should tell you just yet. Uh, I don't know you very well, but I will inform you that if you speak to the right people and convince them at the bar, uh, known as... Oh, the Barge Trousers, of course. Of they serve course. the best jungle juice in town. Yes. Everyone knows the Barge Trousers. You act like we're new here. One of All Naglet's, we seek is the passage. One of Naglet's uh, confidants, she goes by the name of Asix. Look for her at the bar, and uh, I'm sure you'll recognize her. She's. He whispers to a Jew. 
a little more attractive than the others. And he kind of winks at you, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. No offense. No offense. I'm a strictly businessman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, sure she, I'm sure if you could convince her who you are and that you are safe, uh, she might have, she might be able to show you. But again, convincing her is a completely different animal. Now, why have hey, you come here? Stag, what languages do you speak? I speak common and primordial. Mm. Helpful. Yeah, not not at all. Um, well, uh, I'll look over at Ignis and go whisper something into uh, Aranus's ear as I pull out a s- certain crystal from his bag. And I'm going to... Uh, slowly approach um Dak what the name is his name Declan? is Declan uh, Declan Declan approach Declan it's like well you're a craftsman and I'll pull out my green skull and I'll have it palmed in my hand and I'll have my back so the mind flare can't see me um, I was wondering if you would, I know you have the skill, but I was wondering if you had the time to make something with this blue crystal here. I'll hand Declan the blue crystal. Um, would, says, would you would you be able to recreate something like this and I'll hold the green skull in my hand? Um... Just like a, a copy of this, but in in that kind of crystal. Now, he is only going to know of... Okay, so I'll just roleplay it. Okay. Um, so, ooh, that's a nice looking green crystal you have there. Sort of reminds me of the emblem they worship at the, uh, at the cathedral. Also located at the cathedral. Um, although ours is, ours is blue, uh, this must be a, uh, a green copy. Sure, certainly. What would you, what would you like? Um, a copy of this in this blue crystal here. Oh, you don't need me for that. I weld and meld things together. You can find, oh. you can certainly find a, a copy of the blue, of the blue skull uh, crystal anywhere. But sure, I'll make one for you. Um, what's in it for me now? Well, I'll uh, turn back to the group. Aaronis, don't you have uh, some plans that you've been holding on to for a while? I'll turn back to Devin. Oh, I heard him say yes. If you want something fancier to work on than something that we can find in any shop around town. And I'll usher Aaron is over. I'll put the green skull back in my pocket, my bag, and I'll take the airship plans from Aaron S and I'll hand them to Declan. Do you think you could uh, whip up something like this? I have to do an insight check for Declan. Is he going to know... I guess people don't. I mean, they're going to have. They're certainly going to be able to tell time by their own metric. But is he going to know that this is from. It's impossible. Let's see. No, we got a six. Um, these are plans. Uh, it seems. Oof. These are, this is massive. This machine is massive. Wow. You said you wanted a challenge. Hmm, interesting. Well, uh, where did you say you got these? I see a certain, a certain inscription here. Hey, uh, hey, Slet. This seems to be written in 
Your language. Why don't you come over here? Slut comes over. And um, he looks at the the prince. And Slut rolls a... Oh, wow! Double sixes! Another six. And he says, mm. It says... And he says so that everyone can hear in their mind's eye. It says Shrezel Colony on it, but there's also an Alphal colony, and I don't know what an Alphal colony is. But it seems to be that the Shrezel colony has these are plans to some sort of Shrezel colony ship. And uh, of course, this gets this gets uh, Declan all aroused. A ship from the Shrezel Colony? <laughs> what kind of ship is this? Seems to be some sort of... I don't know. I don't know if it goes on the water or not, but... It's worth a... It's worth a, a reading. Um, you know what? Mr... What did you say your name? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. We properly introduce ourselves. Uh, my, my name... My name is Seth Hartley. I'm a Seth. just a humble artist. Seth Hartley. What a good name that is. What a, what a nice lad. Yes, I will trade you these, of course. And anything for you, Miss... Miss Ignis over here. Ms. No, Ignis. You, um, I understand through my friend's mind, I, you see, he always will jump into my head probably a little bit mm. prematurely than you trying to inform me that you guys are not indeed spies of the Shrezel colony um, he informs me that you want to either upgrade or perhaps um, have me take a look at uh, seeing if we had some sort of weaponry like a bow of some uh, kind or I would definitely take a look at your bow selection yes well, for I sure don't, I don't have a bow but I have the ability to take some crystals and bind them to a bow do you have, mm, to have a bow on hand that i could i do cure? okay um mm, do. well this is gonna take me roll me a d6 man d6 six this is going to take me six hours to to do I mean, what, it's what like eleven thirty right now um, yeah, I would say that you guys have been in town for about an hour. Yeah, about an about an, what would you say the market and moving over here having this conversation about an hour, hour, hour and a half, yeah. An hour. Yeah, about an hour. hour. Uh, yeah. yeah, about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> no, I think an hour. An hour seems fair. Yeah. Uh, so it's eleven forty. It's eleven forty p.m. Uh, certainly, and and you guys are getting the weird feeling like these hours. Um, there's no PM and AM uh, again, but like you, you're getting confused be between day and, and night. Like almost these guys work sort of around the clock because there is no night. Everything is sort of mm. just under dark. There's no there's no time sense here. There's, there's no, no circadian rhythm to keep I, it going. Yeah. There, thank well, you, Chris. I I turned to stag well, and I'm spring, like no, I don't give yourself uh, an inspiration. I'll take that. Well, like, I don't know about uh, I don't know about uh, giving this bow, uh, giving my bow up to this guy. Well, is that a fancy? Is that a special bow right now? It's not. It's more just on not loving being unarmed. But well, here, here. Well, while he no, is, it's okay. uh, no, while he's it's okay. making I got, this, bow, I, got, I, can, I got some stuff. Don't worry about it. We're, we're, I, I, I can get you a bow if you need it. No, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if it comes to that. Hopefully, it won't come to that. Okay. All right, I'll give him my bow. What's the cost for doing that? <sighs> Let's see now. Well, what do you have to offer? First and foremost, do you have a specific crystal you'd like to for me to? combined it with i can offer you a crystal but if you have one it'll be cheaper for you 
Um, I go whisper something in Aranus's ear to borrow one of his crystals. No, we, we uh, just take them. Yeah, and I I stealthily take them from Aranus. All right, so um, you're gonna you're gonna roll for one of Aranus's crystals, I guess. Well, we don't have the blue one, so it's just yellow and red, right? Yes. All right, so I'll just take the red one, and we'll okay. see what that does. The red crystal skull. That'd be funny. Oh. <laughs> no, man. no, that one's that one's tucked away in his uh, nether regions. I'm assuming. Um. Oh. This is a. Uh, do, what do you do? You hand it out to him. Yeah, give him eyes. So what, what can you do with this? Uh, let me see here. Actually, I just take both of them and ask him what he can do with each. The blue, the red, and the yellow. Let's see what he says. Wow, you guys are really going for it here. Well, of it course. seems like this yellow one seems to be. Let me see here. He takes out his uh, glass and he says, hmm. "Seems like this yellow one is made out of al alarmant." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this other one, uh, what's color? This one? oh. This one seems to be... Oh, I, I know this one. This one seems to be the Scarlet Naltes. Of course. Of course. How did I not recognize? Both of, um, them, both of them somewhat rare, but uh, there seems to be a little bit of anim- en- energy that can be procured from one of them. Um, do you have rarer and better crystals than these I can use? Or oh, would these I, be better than what I you offer? I like to keep. You can always trade at the shop for different types of crystals. Um, I don't keep my uh, my my treasures like that up above. I keep them down mm. below. But I will tell you this: that the yellow Al Alarmant um, has a specific energy that. Um, allows you to allows you to notice things on a hunt that you wouldn't quite notice it has a sort of alarming awareness that if done correctly now I, I, I may not uh, be the best I mean <laughs> I am the best here, but I might not be the best in the world. But if uh, joined together with one of your bows, perhaps um, the bow might be able to alarm you um, when something is coming. This other red mm-hmm. one, this other red one, seems to be a little bit more of a hunting, uh, a hunting gem. If combined with a a bow like you have. Uh, it may give it a little more oomph. Mm, mm, okay. How about um, what are we talking about here? I gave you the crystals. How, what, what sort of currency do you use in these parts? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a I'll tell you what. I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I'll make you this offer. I'll give you the red crystal to use for the bow. You keep the yellow one. Red. And you gotta make my friend his blue skull. And you know what? I want that that painting of Naglin too. I'm taking that off the wall. No. Leave that <laughs> painting. You're, Why? I will do this for that yellow that yellow uh, crystal. But don't you dare. I don't know. Now I want the painting. <laughs> okay, you keep the painting. You keep the painting. That is a very important meaningful painting of mine. I painted it. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. No wonder I wanted it so badly. Well, um, I am an artist. Um, come back in, uh, in six hours. I should have, uh, I should have everything ready for you. Okay. And if you could throw in another, you know, less sentimental painting for our travels, that would be appreciated. Um, if oh, you, we would, we would love to take some of your art. Yeah, we'd love to take some of your art with us. 
on our journey. Um, That's how much we like it. Stag, yes. give, give me a persuasion check. Gladly. Persuasion. My persuasion sucks. Okay. Plus eight. That's a natural 20 plus eight for 28. He oh, is, wow. Like, he is sitting there. He's, he's thinking to himself, I better not fuck this up. I and I am going to paint these guys a beautiful painting <laughs> when they pick this up. Lovely. Nice. So I gotta remember that painting and crystal bow and uh, yellow. The blue skull. Yeah, blue skull. Okay. Well, I want the red bow. I'm giving up the yellow crystal to pay for the that and the blue skull and the painting. Yes. Um, okay. So, if, but you'll have to come back in six hours and leave your bow there. But six hours. Yeah. So, what time? Can I just mark that? That's I've what. Got, I've got six hours. It's six hours from five forty-five. Five five forty-five a.m. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we should just use military time to make it yeah. simpler. So five forty-five. That works. So in that case, that's easy. I'm more of an yeah. AM PM guy myself, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you guys want. You're the one who okay. said time doesn't work that way. That's why I thought of it. Um, and that will be, uh, when did we say the, um, it's the party 8 at 11, 37. 8 30. yeah, 837 is the harmony. So perfect timing for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, let's head to the Bard's Trousers, shall we? Yeah, I don't see why not. Would you Got guys, some time to kill. Would you guys like for me to point you the way? Or would you... Oh, oh we have our friend Slat over here. Slat. I forgot about him. Do them a favor. And because you um, convinced them that you were such a convincing... I don't know. You sort of made him feel like you were important and he wanted to make you a painting. So he says, Slet, a round of jungle juice for my friends. And he throws you, he throws uh, Slet a, uh, a coin or two um, that Slet puts his hand up and the coins stop in midair. Um, and he goes like this and the coins sort of travel um, and land on his, on his finger because he can uh, move things around with his mind. That was uh, very cool. I will see you soon, my friends. Um, thank you. And thank you for these plans. They look fantastic. I cannot give, wait to give them a good read. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, your take on it. Completely forgot that I have to, that we're not in a different map, and I can just drop you right here. Bam! Okay, that was the mill. Um, hey, Matt, Matt, you get... Yeah. So, listen, you guys both get cool points. You know why? Awesome. Because Those work here. some good role play, and you guys made it. Cool points. Dungeon Masters, remember to war reward role play. Very important. <laughs> very, very important. Um... um. And uh, oh. Slat's going to say, where to, my friends? The Bard's oh. Trousers. Yeah, the Bard's Trousers. Bard's Trousers. But some of that jungle tips. <laughs> I couldn't name, uh, pick up a name, so I just... What was the jungle juice we used to we used to have? Uh, 40s, I don't know. 40, but... 40s of OE, 40s and, or of OE. And, or and orange juice? No, that's Brass Monkey. Ah, damn it. What was the jungle juice? Uh, oh, no, the jungle juice is in it, the fraternity. It's definitely it's poor whatever. something disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's usually just like whatever liquor is around mixed with fruit punch or whatever the fuck. Okay. Um, before you, so you guys uh, see across the way that there's a, um, a happening place. It doesn't sound as rambunctious as the other taverns you, you've been in. Certainly not as rambunctious as the... Uh, well, actually, I don't know how old the. I mean, you know, you had ninety-eight-year-olds all drinking in, in Brock's Village, but um, mm -hmm. this you, you see some, uh, you hear some happening. It sounds like 
half. It looks like the place is full, but it sounds like it's half full. Um, the closer you get, uh, the more you come to the conclusion that the reason why that is is because, well, half of the people in there can't really talk because they're servers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one last thing before he left the uh, the forge. Could I have looked for any room or door that looked like it might have been leading down? Um, sure. You can give me a perception. Okay. I don't want to do that. Uh, 18 plus, uh, I think only four, uh, 22. Yes. Um, this door right here on the screen, there's a door here. Leading, there's like a trap. It's like a trap door. Remember, he told you that okay. he told you yeah. that um, he doesn't keep his precious items up top, um, sort of hidden away from uh, everyone okay. else. Um, and you guys are gonna walk in. I wonder if this is the right level. The village bar. You guys are whores. Okay. Or is that the double? Is that the entrance? These the, it's so cool. Someone made these models on uh, on Steam. No, this is actually this is actually the second level. I should delete that from you guys. You guys shouldn't see that. Um, they built these models. Uh, that you can almost stack on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we go. All right. Oh, that's guys, the first level. Yeah, this is the, nice. Yeah. So. Uh, Which is first over here in this one? I'm yeah. You guys in. Um, now you guys will have to pretend. Uh, You'll have to do old school um, D and D with me. Um, theater of the mind. I feel like the theater of the mind is going to be mostly done uh, over Steam because it just takes too long to make the inside. If we were doing a boss fight or something important, of course, I would I would spend hours making the room. <laughs> but uh, I love the theater of the mind. Yeah. Um. Okay. So here's the group of you guys. Let me um, grab uh, your other guy. Here he is. Um, okay, you guys walk in the room, and who's going first? Ignis we'll is sense. going first. Oh yeah, well our, we boy sense our boy boy. Oh no, you want to sense Brown then? Good <laughs> idea, right? He's a mind flare. <laughs> who's gonna try the jungle juice first? Uh, okay, to be to be fair, when you had to leave that one day, Sprock used you as a guinea pig. So yeah. we, we got to turn the tables again. It's, it's true. true. It's true, yeah. Um, you guys walk in, the stench of sulfur fills the air. Um, it, but it's like a bubbly, sweet sulfur smell. Not like um, not like that of like the the gas from the from the city, but or like rotten egg or, or the or the rock, but it's like a it's like a more of a juicy like the uh, it smells like beer, a beer hall, but sulfury. Um, that's the mm -hmm. best I can do for you. Um, and as you enter, you see there are many different, uh, different gnomes and different. Um, so it's packed. Ceramorphs, yeah, all over the place, um, and they're all He's they're all sort of drinking and they're merry. He settles the sexy one that we have to find. So which true. one do you think is sexy, Ignis? <laughs> I don't know. Can I investigate the sexiness of the people around me? Oh boy, they're falling through. Um, well, what did he say? What did he say to you guys? You he, guys remember? He said, find the hot one. He says his name is Asif. Asix? As, as, A6. Asix. Asix. That's what I wrote. Yeah, and uh, says one that is a little bit sexy. That's all I wrote down. How are we going to do this and not be sexist? We can't. So, um, 
Well, look, our followers didn't come to listen, us to not be also, sexist. It's Spencer. also to the eye of the beholder. So, however, mm -hmm. however, the mill guy, whatever the mill guy thinks is sexy, is sometimes not what you <laughs> might think is sexy. It's true. It's That's true. Why I, I'm gonna. Blade. I like. I'm I just said. gonna like sort of stealthily maneuver about the crowd. Find the sexiest ceremony, and you guys are like, no problem. I got this. You guys <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you guys are sick. Um, okay, so you guys. <laughs> Guys, All right, Sprock, who do you think is sexy? <laughs> I just I just like to stealthily move about the crowd. Seeing if anyone catches my eye. Um, well they all sort of give you the give you the look. Um, but they are as you walk through this this hall, it looks like one of these old German beer halls. A little bit smaller, not as not as large mm -hmm. as like as as uh, the one you you may or may not have been to or seen on the on photos but um everyone seems to be there are a couple of course um drinkers that are dressed up in their in their uh almost like a oktoberfest get up but um there there are some there are a lot there's a lot of joy going on a lot of camaraderie between the gnomes and the uh, vessel colonies and um, they are all drinking the same juice, the same drink. It just stinks like uh, sulfur. And as you walk through, there are tables upon tables. They seem to be eating different types of jerky, and um, it looks like almost mushed down, mushed down thin bread, I would say. Like bread without the flour puff to it, um, mm. and you guys are looking around the room. Who's going first? Sprung. Ignis is. No, I'm I'm wandering around the room. Ignis, give me a. Uh... But I'm being chill about it. I'm stealthy. Uh, no one notices me. Give me a give me a inside check to see if you know who's who's what. Give me an inside check. Well, Agnes is walking around, all sidle up next to a slit. Start chatting, slit up, slut. Slut is saying that's actually. I just want to let you know that that's an actual name here. I didn't just pull that one up out of my ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I wrote I wrote random mind flayer names, and slut was one of them, and I couldn't believe it, so I put I included him in down here because the last time you guys told me for a random name name, I wrote slate or whatever it was. You guys were like, really? Well, <laughs> slut's his name. Okay. <laughs> There's also a Grax, but that was too. Anyway, um, all right. So who goes first here? Um, why don't we do a uh, roll initiative? How you guys per peruse the the bar? Okay, Ignis got a, their first roll. Uh, Twenty-four. Initiative uh, dirty twenty. Wow, Ignis, you got. Uh, a 24, 20. okay. So, Ignis, um, with your uh, roll, how would you like to, where, where are you going? I'll just draw where the bar is on here. Um, so everyone is sort of sitting at their seats. Um, I just put a bunch of guys down here just to show you that it was crowded. But the bar, um, uh, oh boy, doesn't, doesn't draw on here, okay. Um, the bar is towards the end over here. This this section here. Yeah. Um. All right, I go. You know, bartenders usually are knowledgeable, so I go saddle up to the bar. And there is a. Um, sorry. As you get up there and pushing through these guys, uh, one one gnome sort of puts his bumps into you, and he says, Whew. "Um." Your passive perception can uh, let you know that he, he did that on purpose. Oh, excuse me, madame. You look like you're not from around here. Um, I am... I am... Wow, these names are 
horrendous. I am Tedland, lead, <laughs> lead marker. You must be beautiful. No, uh, I roll my eyes. I check my pockets first, make sure he didn't take anything. Um, Smart. Bump it into me. I I just sort of shrug them off. I give them an eye roll and I, I turn away. Oh. Not like turn away. I just keep going to the bar. Uh, he murmurs to himself as you go on. Um, you get to the bar. Um, everyone sort of is staring at you because you're, uh, you're not one of them. You're sort of like an outsider. Um, yes, I can. I can see that. And Chris, what do you? What's your guy doing? Stag. So I'm going to. Uh, Stag is going to lean over to Slat and uh, ask him, "Hey, do you know what this uh, Asix looks like?" You're leaning over to who? To our mind flare friend Slat. And you're trying to find. Well, I'm going to ask him if he's if he knows what this person who we're supposed to look for, Asex, he knows uh, what they look like. Us mind flares, we all sort of look similar. She has been told to me to be the more attractive one, though I think we are all the same. But that might be my mind flare and my mind speaking to me. Of course, he's talking to you in his mind. So I I guess it sounds like a a whisper. Yeah. Well, of course, she's the one over there dancing in the middle. Um, What? He sort of of points points over at a table, and this uh, table flips over. Not flips over. This this lady stands on top of the table. hovering on top of the table and does is spinning like this, like a Beetlejuice spin, sort of. Um, and she says, I think she's over at that table. She likes to drink the juice a little bit too much for me. Would that's, you... Uh, go ahead. That's her Sorry. friend. That's her friend. Roll me a d10. A two. That's her friend, Jesus. Vlan Mice. Vlan Mice Kilf. The one who's <laughs> dead. The one who's dead. <laughs> she might have answers for you. Um, I see her dancing. Do you have a favorite song? Why, yes, of course. And what is that? called that's interesting Uh, i had one queued up if you didn't have one i do but yes i do go ahead play it chris well no i i was was gonna you're gonna sing it oh yeah oh shit no i i don't know songs that well but maybe if you sing me one, this well, may be my favorite. Maybe this one might stir something in your soul. And uh, maybe become a little more weary of uh, of Nagland and what he's trying to tell you. I'll take out my what instruments do I have now. I know you stole my concertina. Um, I'll take out my pan flute. Yeah. I'm going to start this off with the pan flute. Here we go. Oh, good. Everything's a pan flute. Are you playing for all to hear? Oh, yeah. Also, as uh, Ignis is, I see Ignis is looking distraught being uh, berated. So I'll, I'll turn. Naglin or um, Slet, why don't you go uh, where Ignis is and get uh, a jungle juice? I'll uh, make my way up over to where you pointed me. Take my pan flute out and start playing. If I could turn back time, <laughs> I could find a way. I'd take back those words that have hurt you and you'd stay. I don't know why I did the things I did. 
<laughs> Give me a um, performance check on that one. Okay, glad. I will uh, tune up the, the pamphlet a little, get myself some guidance before I start to play. Give me two performance checks, because I think that okay. there's going to be there's going to be two different crowds that you're okay. that might so take this different ways. So I'm going to use do. that guidance for the mind flare or the first performance check. I'm going to write share down somewhere. Okay. okay Say so that's an eight, 18 share. plus. Uh, so that's a dirty 30. It's wow. a third. It, it's a dirty either way, but it's a thirty. A sixteen plus twelve plus two. And what was your second one? The second one is just the flat. Oh, the second one is a fifteen. Okay. Well, let's just see. Uh, Mind flare is going to be this one, and gnomes are going to be this one. Okay. And the gnomes really really like this but the mind flares also i mean like the mind flares are all standing there like turn back time but you you don't even need to look at them and hear them because they can't talk but they're just their bodies moving to them as you say i i, I could just feel them in the rhythm Fighting, of the yeah. Yeah. But yeah the gnomes in the room are really just they're like if share was you know if she, it was almost as if it was a live performance. So you have to imagine this. Like, go ahead, you describe how you play this. You rolled so high that... Um, so, what would you... you they're all going to well, crowd I have a, I have a plus 12, gonna, so everything's gonna, high. They're all going to crowd around you and start singing. So go <laughs> so, so, so I'll, I'll start, start out slowly, and as I see a crowd start to form, I'll... Uh, continue my way towards a bench, hop up on a bench, sort of start walking over people's laps and then climb up on top of the table and like pick up a drink, take a sip, spit it out because it's probably the jungle juice and disgusting. Um, and then continue playing, standing on the one of the tables, like slowly making my way towards where Asics and Blonde Mice Kith are. Kilth. Um, and ending singing right to Asa. So, so, all right, we'll cut over to, to Ignis. Ignis, <laughs> you uh, are over at the bar, um, and just mm -hmm. just before you, you you bump by this guy who sort of was not necessarily hitting on you, but just interested in you. Um, I didn't gave, like him. Gave him a cold shoulder. Um, you get to the bar, and... Um, your friend Jellybean uh, comes over to you as as, as requested by um, by Stag, and all of a sudden Stag erupts in a share song. If it could turn back time, and the entire room just erupts, sort of celebrating his awesomeness over on a table, and everyone rushes over, even um, Asics starts to look at it starts to it starts to levitate a little bit towards towards uh stag um you're at the bar what do you what do you what's your play here um i um, can i call over the bartender uh -huh. i'd like a whatever an ale a jungle juice um the bartender's name is roll me a d10 no roll me a d20 i'm sorry uh just an ale or a jungle juice they're the same thing 14. No, I thought there was only one drink. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> this guy's name is Shrankass. <laughs> You're definitely making these up. Get out of here. Really got, I swear to you. S R A N C H A S S. Shrank, yeah. Shrankass. Shrankass, okay. Right bartender next to his name um mm -hmm. this great this this sort of elderly looking more the only way that you would be able to tell that he's a little bit older was just that he's just a little bit paler of a gray than the other ones um and he has one of, gray hair on his chin yeah it comes over Have, are and, other people paying with like gold or like something i recognize 
Um, yeah, you see those coins that okay. um, that. Uh, but like, my money is good here. Is my question. Well, they they take common, um, but you also see uh, you also see those coins mm. that um, Declan had. Uh, Similar to the coins that Declan gave you guys, um, right on the countertop. And as he comes over, he sweeps in, sweeps in all the coins. Um, the bar is half full, and he says uh, telepathically to you, he says, "What can I get for you, hun?" Uh, one, please. One jungle juice. What do you got? Is that all, is that all you got? You got something else? That and water. I'll take a jungle juice. Huh. Of course. Everyone likes the jungle juice because it's cheaper than the water here. Water's hard to find in the underdark sea. But uh, mm. jungle juice for you, my dear, coming right up. Um, give me a perception check. 21. Um... You see that uh, Slet um, is looking down at the bar uh, at a particular gnome female. Um, and I can't put her on here for some reason. And uh, he's just eyeing her. Um, and, she's, mm. and she's giving him eyes back. And oh, I give Slith a little elbow. I'm like, hey, man, you, you know that no? And he says, ah, that's my love. Or at least the one I'm trying to get with. Her name is... Mm -hmm. Wow. Um... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> roll, me, roll me a D20, Matt, or D10, Matt. D10, you said? Yeah. Uh, five. Her name is Inkeen. Inkeen Bread Rocker. She's perfect, isn't she? He's he really is a bread rocker. I'm going to go buy her a drink. And he sort of walks over um, and starts to. You see her responding like they're having a conversation, but her mouth isn't moving because it's all telepathic. Right. I obviously can't tell what they're saying. Yeah. Um, and the bartender named uh, Shrank Ass turns, <laughs> turns, around, <laughs> turns around and he says, uh, you, my dear sweetie, uh, enjoy. Uh, enjoy the jungle juice we have here. Uh, it's quite the thing. People are, are going to be coming here um, all evening to uh, sort of pregame uh, the uh, harmony ceremony at, uh, uh, in a few hours. Uh, mm -hmm. This place will be getting crowded. So I suggest uh, you get some juice in you before it runs out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. I just like lean against the bar with my drink. Listen to the watch. beautiful music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's cut back. I, I mean, I like turn around and watch. I'm watching Stag, obviously, yeah. like laughing. Let's, let's turn. Yeah. Let's cut over to, to Stag, who's standing on a, who's standing on Ready to, for a bar singing, fight. Yeah. Singing Share. No, he's singing Share. Everyone is cheer clapping. The mind, the mind flares are also clapping, but they're not singing. So half the room is uh, sort of almost levitating. And uh, I'll make this uh, one green. Um, uh, this sort of, she's levitating, but this wobbly looking, uh, you already know that she's um, Essex from communicating with uh, Jelly Bean, right? Yeah. So she cut sort of, you've, you've caught her attention. Um, and she's sort of coming over to you. And I guess you're in the middle over here somewhere. I'll, as I'm singing, I'll uh, find a fairly empty cup. So I just dump out the, the rest or find a hat. 
something to put down at my feet for people to throw tips into. And I'll keep singing and slowly like approach towards where, um, so I catch her eyes as she's approaching and turn and start slowly walking back towards her as I continue the song. Okay. And right at the end, go ahead. Give me a performance check first, because I want to see if these guys are going to tip you. That's a 23. They all throw in, um, you're going to get, here, there's what? There's about, let's say there's 30 people in the room. Um, You're going to get, wow, you're going to get 16 of those coins, those weird coins that um, uh, were thrown at you. And half of them are going to be, uh, nope, they're not going to be any bigger. Than they're all they're all regular size uh, coins. Okay, and then I'll slowly uh, come right to near the the feet of where the hovering green lady is, and Asics. I'll finish up Asics. I'll finish up the song. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way, then maybe, maybe you'd stay. And what are you going to And then I'll stand up. How's, how's it going? Beautiful. My name is Seth Hartley. How would you like to have a drink and chat? Um, I'll give you advantage. Sorry, you... Well, you're going to have advantage because she's... she's jungle juiced um and go ahead and roll your persuasion check to try to get her to sit down and uh you're going to try to do her i'm assuming in some, no some, I'm, not not that okay. way but you're trying to get, trying her, get information you're trying to yes trying to befriend her right so the plus eight she thinks though that you're you know trying to woo her befriend her yeah so I'm glad I had that advantage because those are two on the other die. Uh, but a 17 plus eight is a 26. Wow. Okay. No, so wait, she... no, that's wrong. 25. So how are you? How are you? Okay, go ahead. You lead. You got. So... I trust you as a player enough to be able to give me a 17 plus whatever your, you know, go ahead. It's 25. So after I uh, play the song, I sort of tuck my plant flute away and say what I said. Have a have a drink, and I'll reach for her hand. And she she puts it in. I'll start to to walk away, waving at everyone. Pick up my hat or pick up the random hat um, with coins. Pour them into my pouch. Put the hat on, and I'll wave over to Ignis, signaling for uh, two jungle juices. And I'll walk towards a. Uh, a little secluded place. So, um, what is your name, beautiful? She happily follows you, but she's she. You notice? Um, actually, you know what? Give me an, be an insight. Give me a medical check. Medicine. Yeah. Okay, it's not terrible. Uh, that's an that's a nine. Yes, that's an eleven. Um, she hovers over to you. Okay. She says, um, "What?" And she says in her mind, "What's my name? My name is Essex, and you must be a performer who paid you to come here." Was it Naglin? My sweet Naglin. My name is, uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Asics. Uh, my name is Seth Hartley, and no one paid me to come here. I came and saw this beautiful crowd, saw you, and felt a song was needed. It, and it's it, funny it, that you... Indeed it was. And I'll, I'll put my hand a little more on top of her hand so i start to hold it she doesn't um, move, she doesn't move one yeah. bit 
Yeah. Um, well, it's funny you uh, talk about your love, Nagland. I uh, I met a Nagland once myself some time ago. Um, maybe uh, maybe we'll meet Nagland again. But now let's talk about you. What brings you into a place like this? The jungle juice. I love it. Oh, well, I'm excited to try some. Uh, I'll wave towards Ignis as uh, hoping they got the signal. Well, uh, some of my friends are here. They're trying the jungle juice, too, and I'm excited. Um, uh, let's cut over to Elva. Let's cut do, over do, to yeah. Let's, let's cut, cut over, over to Cut over. Cut over. Yeah. <laughs> cut over. yeah. Um, so Ign- I, I see Stag do that whole thing obviously i'm sitting watching <laughs> <laughs> and then see, i, I see share, like just just kill just just bells me. and i'm ki- <laughs> no to be fair so far i'm with him i'm rocking i'm humming along i think about busting my pamphlet out to join in but i see he's doing his thing and i want to step on his crap so i'm all feeling good i'm like wow this is and this has been turned into a nice evening while we wait for our weapons we wait for the party things are looking good and then i see him with a smug look try and order two drinks from me and I scoff and say, who's this motherfucker think he is? And I turn immediately away from him and, and start facing the bar as, as if he thought I was his waiter. I don't know what he expected in that scenario. Um, and I turn to the old man bartender and I say, can you believe this fucking guy? And and I order myself another jungle juice. Um, the bartender is going to say that... Uh, still under the performance uh, that Stag uh, gave us, the, the shrank ass is going to say, "The money, your your money is uh, not. You are friends with him. I'm assuming you have to yes. be. You are outsiders. These are on me. These, okay. These three drinks are on me. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, roll me. Uh, I I wave at Stag and, and I point and say, man, "His two me. drinks are here." Matt, roll me a D ten. Bring you two drinks. <laughs> two. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> roll me Have a you ever met Ignis before? You thought you were gonna get Ignis to bring you two drinks? <laughs> Matt, roll me I, a- I'm so happy it's playing out the way it is. <laughs> I got it too. Um, Barla. <laughs> you say Barla. Barla with a B? Barla. Barla, walk these drinks over to that table over there and then make sure my friend here uh, with the pretty face has herself some room. Um, and, uh, Barla sort of leads you away, and he says, <clears throat> "No tip, my dear." For me, I don't want to go sit with the two weirdos over there. I'm chilling at the bar. Oh, my my apologies. You I can you take were, the you can you can send in those guys. Well, no, no, I, no, no. I'm not going you, anywhere. Do you? Uh, what can I help you with then? Do you want some food, some drink, some camaraderie? Yeah, I'm just. My friend's over there. He's talking to some girl. I'm just trying to kill time while he does his thing. That was very you see, rude he's, a, he's a real showman. He's a real showman. That was very rude of me. As uh, Barla uh, walks his drinks over to Stag, um, here, he sort of pops. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. But I, there are gnomes around, too. It's not just the... The mind it's not just the, well, everyone, the mind force. Everyone seems to have been crowding around Stag over there. Uh, right. No, no one is paying, paying attention to you, except for... Um, uh, except for the bartender. Uh, the bartender and... Uh, what's his name? Slet, our boy. Slet, and he is romancing with... Um, mm-hmm. Vlon. Yeah, so I'm just... Yeah. You know what? Bring bring me whatever your best here. food item is, and I'll just sit here while Stag does his thing. Here, this is for you. Gives you another jungle juice, 
and he uh, oh, holds out his mug and he says, to us. To us. And he, and he cheerses you. And he drinks. Cheers. Um, do you drink any of the jungle juice? I'm on my second. Should I not have been? Well, <laughs> well you need to roll some stuff. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to roll. I already drank one. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is my second one. <laughs> go ahead and give me a constitution save for the first one you, you rolled. It'll be a, a high one. Or a low oh, one God. It's, uh, you know what? I might take my bardic inspiration on that one. Uh, one second. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't give you one. Oh, does it not the carry way, over? I, I gave you these, a guidance. The way that last no, but does, can I not save them? Like they expire at some point? They expire after 10 minutes. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Okay, then I got an eight. Yeah. Go ahead. And I didn't, I've been banking them. I, I thought I had like three. Um, I got an eight. Um, I rolled it. Okay, so you feel a little loopy doopy. Um, your. Uh, I'm going to try to remember this. If I don't remember it, it's on me. Um, your perception. Uh, I'll remember. Some. Your perception checks are going to be a, a minus two. Um, okay. You're a little bit, you're a little bit drunk. Um, so what? So now I got to roll for the second one that I just drank. Well, you're, that you're drinking, yeah. Drinking actively. Okay, that one I got a nineteen. So I, I didn't. You're like, you're like. I'm feeling you're, better. Yeah, you're. you're it, one the beer, first one caught me off guard. I didn't realize beer, how yeah, how yeah, strong yeah. it was. You're one yeah. beer queer, but now you know what what you're drinking. Yeah. It's like you drink one scotch. You're like, damn, that was good. But I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a little buzzed. Yeah, I got you're you. A little buzzed. So, you're you're right, so I will let you. You know. know, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I always do when I get a little buzzed at the bar, and I'm just gonna. I see Staggy's <laughs> doing his thing. I'm just gonna take. <laughs> Take a little break, go outside, have a cigarette. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I, 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 well, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, as soon as you heard just, what I, whatever I do when I'm a little drunk, you knew what was <laughs> I just want to let everyone know that uh, Ignis got these cigarettes from killing the tank in the Metal Gear Solid level uh, that I randomly dropped them into, and he's still going strong. Um, it's so, true. Although we're running low, so I gotta be yeah. careful. If there's ever uh, a place to get some more made, you're right in it. It's true. Let's cut. Right so I'm gonna go outside, and I tell the bartender, wait, just before, I don't want him to think I'm dining and dashing. I tell him, like, I'll be right back, save my seat, kind of thing. No problem. And then I just go outside, and I let I let him on your, way, do on your way out. He, you see him put a little piece of parchment um, over, over your drink. Over your drink. Oh, what a, I like this guy. He's getting a big tip. Um, stag. You so got, uh, you got Asix at your table, and you're holding her hand. And I see this crowd of other mind flayers and gnomes, sort of uh somewhat around us still. And right before you start talking, um, this sort of very short but very built, stocky, short. Um, gnome comes over. No, no mess. Whatever the female version is, her um, she gnome. comes over and she says, uh, "These are for you." Uh, from well, she went out for a smoke. Ah, from from Ignis. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. you well, here I'll, I'll reach in his pocket and pull out some of those coins that he just got and put. Very generous. Uh, six, six of those on the tray. Oh, thank you very oh, much. Th thank you very much. What Cheers. was your name? My name is... Barla. Barla. And I'm here all night. Until, of course, the harmony. Oh, I'll see you around there, Barla. Have a great evening. And I will see you at the harmony, hopefully. Um, oh, I'll turn to Asics and it's like this place is uh, a little too crowded for for my tastes. Do you know somewhere secret we could go? Um, 
somewhere not many people know of. Wow. Uh, bu- 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 let's do a definitely some sort of charisma. Gotta be. Oh. Well, yeah. first off, yes, she knows. And what's your goal? What's your goal with this question? Your goal well, with this question? My goal is, is to is trying to get into the secret tunnel to get to Naglins. To Naglins. Okay. Um, yeah. I could finagle some more uh, chat out of that if you want. <laughs> some more RP trying to <laughs> convince her. Oh no, this place is too. Too much lighting. Do you know? Uh, you said you knew a Naglin. Do you know a little secret passage towards Naglin? Give me a. Uh, I'd love to see him again. Give me a persuasion. Uh, sixteen. Oh, I've been rolling hot tonight. Sixteen plus eight, twenty-four. Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, I don't usually bring people here, and I shouldn't. But uh, follow me. I make first, it worth your while. First, I must say, I ask you, who are you? And I what, told you who I am. What sort of adventurer? What sort of adventurer are you? My name is Seth Hartley, and I'm the inventor of your dreams. That's enough. Um, okay, and she says we must go upstairs first. After um, you. So there and are all. Uh, I'll flag as I'll wait. I'll follow behind her and as we're starting to go up. And I know she can't really see where I am. I'll try and flag Aranus and, and Sprock since they're still around. They're sitting there. Not smoking. Mes- mesmerized by your. Uh, I'll do a. We're all sleight of hand to try and hide that or stealth or something. If you want. Yes. Sure. Which would you prefer sleight of hand or stealth? They're both the same. So, um, Let's do sleight of hand. A 14. Um, that is fine. She's got dis- She's got disadvantage. She's, sure. Yeah, that's a three. Yeah. Okay. So disadvantage because she's drunk. Um, okay. So, um, Aranus and Sprock both see you sort of eye them. Well, Sprock, we know, sees everything. Yeah. Um, and then... Ignis is outside, and she sort of uh, levitating leads you upstairs. As you get upstairs, you notice that they're... Give me a perception check. Seven. There are only a couple mind flares up upstairs, um, but you can't see how many people are around the corner. Um, there are some tables set up up top as well, and she keeps leading you upstairs and points towards a uh, a door. I'll I'll follow her into that door, and, and as I say, I, I've I've always wondered what a bunch of tentacles down there would feel like. And as you get to the uh, the door, she says, "No." Nah. I must ask you. As she turns around, my pants are already off. <laughs> she she says, please tell Naglin. I am sorry about the tree. That's going to be important. Um, now, uh, did, did, uh, Ignis see you guys go up? He was outside smoking a cigarette. Yeah, so no, I assume they I, would I have taken some would've. time to go out, find them, and then not try and rush up after me. Okay. So I assume I have a little bit of time they, to try and fool around with this mind flare for a little bit. Before, um... Getting, uh, so do you, so did, so, okay, so, 
Are you trying to woo this mind flare? So I'm trying to have the rest of the group walk in on on stag, hooking up with a mind flare. All right. Um, okay. And then we go down our secret tunnel. Okay. So <laughs> give me a. You already did the performance. You already did the persuasion. Uh, give me a stealth check. Yeah, do me and dice all the way. Okay, so plus four. That's an 11. All right, so mm -hmm. um, we're going to cut over. So an 11. So you get her in the room. You guys are doing your thing. She is all over you, and she says to you, she says, make sure you tell Naglin, don't forget the tree. Or no, I'm sorry about the I'm tree. I'm sorry about the tree. And then um, it's... I'll show you something that grows yeah, like a tree. The fade the scene fades to black as you guys start to do your thing. Um, oh, the tentacles. This is, this is getting to the weird part of the game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, your, your guy, you see, um, you come in. You come in and come in. Brock and um, Sprock and Aranus. Well, you're still outside. Sprock and, um, and Aranus are right Right next to you, and they uh, they see you. They, and Aaron, they says, tell hey, me what's going on. Hey man, like uh, I just saw. Um, Aaron says, "Hey man, I just saw. Um, I just saw Stag go upstairs with this this weird uh, sort of fubbly bubbly uh, floating around mind flare." Um, and Sprock says, "Yeah, he's been Sprock hitting on that for a long time." Sprock looks at you like this. Because he's not, <laughs> because he's not here uh, to defend himself. He's like, you know, because that's all he says. Yeah. And, um, uh, Aaron says, we should follow him up there and make sure he's okay. Uh, I don't know. He's doing his thing. Well, we should go follow him up. All right. So. All right. You're up. What would you like to do? Okay. Wait. Before, if we're gonna leave. I'd like to go sit on my bar tab with the nice bartender man. Good man. So, so I go Yo, over to Matt, him. You get a cool point. You get a cool point. Cool settling, point. settling uh, bar tabs. All right. So and I had some food, so I was like, I don't, you know, what do I owe the guy? Um. Well, the the, the drink was on him, but you do owe him for the mm -hmm. first drink. And the food. I had and some food. food. Yeah, you had some food. So if you had any, did you have any damage on, on your, any, were you down health at all? No. It says here you have 42, was that, but you're not keeping track on the, on D on, on D and D beyond. No, I am. I have 63. Oh, uh, maybe I'm looking at an old, an old sheet then. Okay. Uh, so you're, yeah, you're at full health. Yeah. All right. Um, this is going to the well. I was going to give you some some uh, HP, but I guess it doesn't matter um, from the food. That's oh, alright. Um, oh, I see here. I had to re I had to redo it. Okay. Um, so you're going to settle up with him? Yeah. What are you, my good man? Um, and he says, "Oh, uh, what was his name? Shrank ass." Shrank ass. <laughs> yes, shrank ass. Shrank ass comes over and he he hobbles over. Uh, shrank ass, my good man. Oh, uh, you're back. Uh, I don't know what you were doing outside. That's you, you smell like burnt uh, burnt wood. It smells good though. Um, mm. And shrank ass is going to say to you, um, "What are you going to do?" I'm going to say I'd like to like to settle my tab. I only have gold pieces. So, oh, gold pieces year. are if, fine. Three for one uh, is fine. How much gold do you have, my dear? Three for one? Well, what's my tab? I had some food and I had a, a beverage. Oh, okay. Then then you owe me six gold, uh, covers the underdog's uh, coinage here. And he says, this, okay. dry, this dry. Wow, you're making me make up a, a currency. Currency? <laughs> Yeah, one cool point for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna type it. I wanna, and I want to know what the exchange rate is. Yeah, I'm in both directions. Three, 
I'm gonna look that up. No, I I like this. Uh, give definitely definitely a cool point for you. Um, here we go. I was looking up a a, a random one. Here we go. Um, it's uh it's three gold for one one Ren Gen. Mm-hmm. Seems fair. And I owe you six Ren Gen. Six Ren Gen, my dear. Okay, so that's what eighteen gold. So I take out a. Uh, I take out uh, 28 gold, and I lay it on the table for my man. And I say, you have a great night, sir. You've been, you've been wonderful, Mr. Shrankass. Um, he, says, he says to you, thank you so much for your courtesy, my dear. Of course. And he's going to whisper into you, and he's going to, well, he's going to, in your mind's eye, he's going to say, Lumetheric will, will be pleased with you Ooh. during the harmony ceremony. Make sure to whistle well. Okay, I nod as if I know exactly what he's talking about. Look, I don't want him to think anything other than I know oh, yeah, yeah, exactly have, what he meant. No idea yeah. what, what he what he's talking about. There's a whole, there's a whole. No, I know, but there. I st I sternly look at him. I'm like, of course, thank you, sir. Um, you do know who knew? Well, you don't. You know, I do. Know. I do know Loom Lumithric. Okay, okay, and that's I mean, I know of him. I don't know him, but you know, I'm not okay. completely lost. Okay. Um, you met Lumerthurk, didn't you? Did I? Matt, give no, me I don't history. even remember. Give me a history check. Ten. Uh, Lumerthurk was the person speaking to you in the time dungeon. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. I should have just scrolled up in my notes, but yes, thank you. Not necessarily a person, but um, okay. So the what entity. Like to, what would you like to do? Yes. So you set up your bill. All right. I'm annoyed at Aranus, obviously, but I'm like, okay, let's go check on this guy and make sure he's not getting his brains eaten. All right. <laughs> Aaron is going to say, come on, um, let's go upstairs. Because you know how Aaron is. He he's really cares a lot about other people. Well, he cares about Stag right now for some reason. It's true. It's true. He has been very yeah, jealous. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> he's he's finally got cheating on him with another person. Another um, entity. I'm going to not only... Mind Slayer is a person. That's true. I'm not only going to totally move all you guys up here. I'm not going to. We're being stealthy, though. I'm being. I'm oh, being yeah. stealthy. Yeah. I'm. I'm, like, not, I'm. I'm hoping someone walks in the door and sees this because that's what I was planning. All right, time. let's roll. Let's roll for who walks in. So, okay, so <laughs> between, I guess, Aaron, this is pretty hot to try it about getting up there. Ar getting in there. Aaron, this would go first. Well, um, he, yeah, he's basically dragging me up there, so. All right, so there's a way that I can mark on these things when something happens. And I'm going to, I'm going to mark it by this. It's 919. But I'm just going to record it. Um, okay. Chris, you're in the room. There are a lot of tentacles all over you all mm -hmm. over you um there seems to be give me a perception check that's a nine there seems to be like actually a... hold on let me roll that with disadvantage because there's no way i'm aware of what's going on that's still a nine <laughs> there are there's 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 definitely a body there some something inside when you hug when you when you hug it and touch it uh, it's definitely moist, definitely gray, but it's definitely cold. And there's there's like a there's like a bony structure to it, 
lot of tentacles. There's a lot, <laughs> lot of tentacles everywhere. A and weird Chris, amount. And Chris, a weird, even even and for a mind flare, a weird yeah. amount. I mean, everywhere. Anyway, um, Aaron mm-hmm. just walks in, and what is his? Uh, the door opens. <sighs> hey, we, whoa! I'm gonna need a shower. Uh, you want to join? <laughs> I feel like that's where we should end. I feel like that's where we should end the, the evening. Is that the okay? Sex scene? Should, we, should we end? Should we end right there? <laughs> Well, I'll let Aaron S. have his actual response after that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I just, oh. I just stopped. I just, well, did I stop the stream to everything? Yeah, I stopped the stream to everything. Okay. All right. Well, th- hey, guys, listen. Um, everyone here is going to get. 500 points of you two are going to get 500 points of xp that was some good hardcore um role play i that was fun was, yeah that was pretty pretty good i very much enjoyed that that was hilarious like nothing got done oh also um what do you mean nothing got no, done no, no, we no, got a lot, a, lot done. a lot got done also i'm very interested yeah. to know what the whisper thing was because you you went back and you uh you tipped him, so I tried to give you a little bit of a hint for the harmony ceremony about whistling. Um, I, I see. Have, I, I do. I, I want to let you know I have nothing planned for that. So no good. The whistle. Has <laughs> well, I also nothing. we haven't had a chance to talk privately, but as soon as we do, we're definitely going to discuss how it seems like the whole town's going to be at the ceremony. You know what that means? Heist. Heist. Oh, Heist yeah. time, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, does it now? Mm-hmm. It means attempted heist. It means attempted yeah. heist at the very least. Well, and you know they're doing some stealing. And we also know there's tons of blue skulls everywhere. Yes. Um. All right. And we're going to see Naglin. Time wise, you guys entered yeah, there. Yeah, no. You guys left. What's his name at seven forty? You guys walked over and went in. Seven no. forty two. No. No. Eleven forty two. No, no, no. Yeah. Eleven forty. We 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 got yeah. to the bar. It's got to be like you got to the bar. like twelve thirty, twelve forty five right now. Forty two. Yeah, it's yeah. like another hour in the Chris bar. Sang, uh, sang Char's, uh shares the uh, song, which is at least six minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's holding with those his notes. version? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. A good, a good to hour. get that thirty, and that was the that was his short version too. So a good hour, hour and a half. <laughs> uh, I yeah. think a good hour and bar, an hour. at least a good yeah. hour. So it's, it's uh like forty five. It's like twelve forty five. Yeah. A M. A new. It's tw- yeah, 12 I kind of like having the time. It's it's it, like gives it another nice. little thing. It's yeah. funny because well, it's when you're on a time crunch, it it makes it nice. It's slowing everything down too, because it's like yeah. Uh, now we've spent two days here, or two sessions here. <laughs> That's hilarious, Chris. I don't like role playing banging you. I don't. Yes, you do. Don't you lie? <laughs> I I was waiting for when you were gonna like cut that off because I was just trying to keep going until you were going to. I know. I know what you're doing. I'm very <laughs> interested to see what uh, YouTube followers say about this. But I feel like, ooh, we're up to eight subscribers. <laughs> yeah, ooh. <laughs> we got another subscriber out of that. That's fucking hilarious. I, oh, we, got a, we had another one at 15 minutes in. So I was watching, really? and there are two people watching. Matt, and then you gotta, got, and then there are eight subscribers. Matt, I want to tell you something. Um, we have, we as a group, and this isn't just me and Chris. This is like all of us. I'm just, yes, three thousand Instagram I'm doing, followers. I'm doing the brunt of the work because I, I, I have a goal of just making and manufacturing a campaign. I want that to be printed, and I want that to be sold. In a store, that's my goal. 
That's what I'm producing I love on, it. on Instagram. And but we have I my only demand is that my tobacco addiction gets a a, a footnote. I want that in the rules. Oh yeah, and maybe you cured. Maybe you get cured. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna first, kick your habit. Yeah, or, or yeah, exactly. Um, or I'm not. We have we'll three. See. We have three thousand uh, nineteen followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. and then we ha we've got you know eight subscribers, and we have ten subscribers on Twitch. On pretty good. On. Uh, on Twitter, we have we have 158 followers. Okay, okay. On uh, Threads, I, I don't even know what the hell Threads is. It's just basic Twitter for whatever. There's 200. Facebook Twitter. There's 251, and then on we're we're looking at guys. We're looking at almost like and I got another another 26 followers on or another 20 followers on on TikTok. But I don't, you know China. I don't like that. Um, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. our our. Uh, podcast is coming up it's, it's, oh it's have, have you listened to the podcast matt matt no, no i have not amazon if you go to amazon and you type in the search engine dungeon doom hand it comes up and you can download it it's for free right now well, i want to i'd like to be a guest star on it uh, at you some point certainly will be you certainly will be and it's funny because i i like it because chris has mentioned Aranus not saving him like eight times every multiple single, times I swear, to, I swear to god uh we we meet we uh, chris and i meet every uh every other wednesday um mm -hmm. and we talk for about an hour we do like a, a we're starting to try to do like 15 to 20 minute segments um just shooting the shit about Dungeons and Dragons and whatever. And uh, <laughs> I swear to God, when we talk about Agoth Doomhand and, and our campaign, because that's part of the, the whole thing I'm trying to sell, um, he always mentions, it always comes back to Aaron is not, not <laughs> Twice. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like Aaron, yep. there's been multiple times where Aaron is, has looked at, at Chris <laughs> and just my drank, dying character drank the, yeah drank the healing potion instead of god offered him this i mean it's cool. fair it is fair yeah. i mean you got blown up you got blown up your guy got blown up yeah melorin Mel melorin got exploded well well yeah. to, be, to be very fair matt's for uh, Va valley was a sacrifice valley was a sacrifice i was yeah. i didn't want to yeah, play as valley so i like, i don't yeah. count that one but I, I, but Melrin got yeah. one shotted, and I love yeah. Melrin. But I, Matt, I don't know if you know how important Valley's character was to the, to the whole story arc. It was, of, yeah. Of Doomhand, because when you, I took, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I took your backstory when you um, destroyed like a big portion of the priests who were worshiping Talus. I made in Doomhand's study. I noted in his in his study of how to defeat the gods. He noted that <clears throat> Talus's power was severely weakened by Valley's attack on Talus's followers, and so it sort of put together in his mind. Um, okay, so if you kill the followers, it kills the god. Like so, Talus's Talus's uh, that story of Valley was monumental to me, at least. As a, good, uh, good. I am glad can, I can help. We can talk about that on a actually that Dungeon that's Doom that's Hand. a full Dungeon Doomhand topic. Yep. is Valley. Yeah, and also how it relates. I have to questions. Integrating, um, and for the second portion when we talk about Dungeon Dungeon Mastery and like how to play D D and D. Um, it kind of goes into how to take characters' backstories and weave it into the actual story so that they're more involved. But I think Matt's Matt's Matt just sort of threw <laughs> threw Valley to the wind. That was hilarious. Like, yeah, and I wrote that. I also yeah, you wrote. That. I wrote that good. epic that story. Good. Yeah, it was good. I had a great time writing it. I think I'm going to work on something for for Ignis too because she deserves it. Now I've fallen in love with it. Especially, I haven't even. I haven't asked you. I haven't even gone points. to bust out. Uh, I haven't even gone to bust out my rogue skills yet because we haven't had a fight since I multi-class. Oh, Ooh. it's coming! Ooh. It's coming! Uh, oh, I'm be, sure. What's yeah. going to be great about this is that 
I'm sensing a eight eight hour dungeon. Oh, I know. Or not? Party might get split. I oh. I did love I did love Melrin because I like when pe- when I come up with weird quirks. That's why I like the smoking thing because it's fun. And Melrin's was that he had to take a turn to mourn any of his lost skeletons that died, which was like a good which was a good thing. I just didn't get to play it out enough because I got one shotted by the giant eye. <laughs> so no, no, we didn't get to see a lot of eye. that. But no, it was a, no, no, that wasn't the eye. No, it wasn't the eye. It wasn't the eye. It was I mean, in the uh, prison on um, like an ogre or something. Yeah. No, Melrin was had the had the. You're talking about the wizard guy. Oh, I'm talking about Pliskin. I mean Pliskin. Pliskin. Yeah, Pliskin. he didn't. Pliskin he didn't get much of a chance. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. I wish he. A man. I've got. I'm. I'm really happy that like I have these NPCs. These, well, they're NPCs to you now, but. Uh, yeah. When you guys go back to visit other areas, eventually, hopefully, I don't know how long this is going to go. Probably ten, fifty years. Um, I would assume so. There will be a dungeon. There will be a zombie version of people. You know? Oh, I hope so. Well, not Melrin. Melrin, there's nothing left of. No, yeah, Melrin's the one that that just can't no, exist. Pl- Pliskin, there's nothing left of either. He got Vaporized. obliterated by a trap. That's true. Well, oh, a, that's right. I remember you went ahead in a trap in a trap tunnel and got got the uh, the wrath of Spencer not realizing how dangerous a trap was in his new trap book. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's like, that is exactly oh, what happened. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I when I visited Chris, we did that. We were doing that one the one trap, and it was just like, wow. That's a lot of but the, also, the, hand, the hand one where we're just like a hand comes out of nowhere oh. and just crushes you and it's like you're immediately prone and all of your health is dead. I, I don't know who yeah. uh one of the one of the walking Zord things that we had go in there just it vaporized or something. I was like, wow, yeah. okay, I, we got to put this book away because it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, little, it's little shocking dangerous. that I I chose a stealthy ranged character for my next one, uh, <laughs> considering <laughs> it's just been obliterated. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll just I'll pick someone who can stay as far away from everything and still be useful as possible. I'm just well, saying. I I I played three frontline. Not really tanks, like fake tanks. Yeah, Monka, an artificer, and finally I got my full tank barbarian, and he lasted two sessions. Yeah, yeah, but that was just because that, that was the mechanics. That was the mechanics of the bad guy. That so no, like, no, that was Aranus letting me die <laughs> yet again. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, Chris, 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 is, Chris is prone next to this the the. What was it? The oh, the mushroom. The, the mushroom that was scored in acid. Golem. So like, whenever you hit a mushroom golem, he shoots. He shoots like when he gets hit, he shoots poison oh, out the poison. around, around yeah. him. And so like, all you had was hand to hand combat, and you were doing so much damage to him. But oh yeah. Every single time he took kept taking hits, and then Aaron was like, I'm "I'll just, just shoot him gonna, back yeah. here with my bow." <laughs> Shoot him with the bow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's not proud. paying attention. That was fucking great. That was good. Yeah. Um, oh, right. and then they just left me, and I was rolling death saves on my own so as they were walking away. <laughs> um, I'm gonna create some advertisements. So, at the end of each session, I'm going to play an advertisement that says, "Stay tuned for next week." And in the meantime, check out our podcast type thing, and then vice versa. I love it, right? I'd why, like to why? be part. Of, I'd like to do the live reads. Oh yeah, it's 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 very very fun. You can you can come. <laughs> uh, we do it on Wednesdays at late because okay. we all okay. all three of us have kids. So yeah, um, like the we've been starting like eight thirty nine ish. Yeah, it's only it's only for, right, it's, right. it's like less yeah. than it's less than an hour. Um, yeah. But, We'll put it together. It's fucking hilarious. I have Doom Hand with me, so if ever I'm, I'm superstitious now, if I bring Doom Hand, he won't show up in game. You the have, moment I forget to bring Doom Hand, he'll show Doom up in Hand, our game. We gotta talk about Doom Hand because I have absolutely no idea how to run 
I mean, I do know how to run like oh. a legendary bad guy now, but he gonna come back. <laughs> he gonna come back full health. So. But there'll be a time period for that. We'll figure it out. Just like a, a lich. Like the rejuvenation, that, that, yes. Yeah, that's what you need, a lich or a vampire. That's what you need to look into. Because he's essentially a lich with a phylactery. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't come back right away. One that doesn't, one that can't be destroyed, but one that actually, we don't know. It okay. might be that, what's her name, the god that cursed him to live forever? has an artifact that is causing that that is essentially acting as phylactery huh puzzles that can't be solved chris mm -hmm. puzzles that can't be solved i'm writing that down well right <laughs> and that is that person is char by the way char that's why I, I thought it was char uh the other one is the zombie portion of the deal and she will be showing up at some point soon. Mm. But, what I mean by that is probably like midsummer. <laughs> on right. our way to go yeah. get uh, Ignis her gray skull. <laughs> yeah, that's Matt's gray skull. Yeah, yeah. Matt's, Matt, you that the reality skull. I am so excited for. Also, sort of terrified because <laughs> it's gonna be like. You know, there's a reason why I ask everyone what their favorite video character, video game character is, uh, movie and all that stuff. I have to recreate all of these scenes, and you guys are going to roll. What did I think? Uh, I don't even remember. I have it. I have it. I don't remember what I put either. Man, I have these in the notes. Hold on. Well, that was, that was some fun role play. Tonight. Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, here. Uh, Spencer, you get 15 cool points for every... Yeah, or one cool point 15. for every name that you came up with. <laughs> and two cool points for uh, Shrank-ass. Yeah, I'm, cool. <laughs> I'm sure you got it. It's Shrank-ass right here. Shrank-ass. Shrank-ass. It says Shrank-ass. Shrank yeah, no, Shrank-ass... Uh, Frank has is worth double, without a doubt. For video games, I got Zelda, Mario, Sonic, and uh, Metal Gear Solid. I'm, I'm sure I was Mario. I'm sure you were, too. Yeah. Um, then for board games, I got Gloomhaven. Didn't quite get... I don't think were, I didn't get any other games for that that are worth... Well, I, maybe I'll re-ask. I can always re-ask. Oh, I got Warhammer was another one of them. I got uh, oh Game of Thrones episode. Oh yeah. Uh, there were, I think there were doubles though. It was where long night night scene. Oh, that's the zombie invasion. That one would be sick. I so if it was Game of Thrones scenes, I definitely picked the uh, the Blackwater battle. Which one's the black one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. King, oh, yeah. The one where, happened, where Tyrion defends yeah. King's, King's Landing. Yeah, yeah, this one says King's Landing. And there's, uh, yeah, that was uh, definitely me. That's my Rob, favorite scene in the whole show. Someone, yeah. favorite Stark's, episode. someone wrote Rob Stark's death. That was Aaron. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's a good one. Uh, and then I have a section for magic cards. So there's going to be oh. there, there's going to be a bunch of uh, reality stuff coming your way. I have no idea how to play it. But there is an overlap between Dungeons and Dragons and Magic cards, and I'm just certainly going to look through and take a look at the plus and minuses on those cards. There's, there's more than an overlap. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in D and D that is from Magic. So I'm just and vice versa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, all right, let me go before I get. Um... Oh, Matt, uh, she told me Yo. tonight. She was like, "Are you going? Are you working tonight? Are you?" I told Chris this before. She's like, are you working tonight? Are you, uh, what are you doing? I was like, oh, no, I have uh, my game night. She's like, well, that's what I meant by working. I was like, yes. <laughs> it's it's true. The, it's across, yeah, yeah, it's across the bridge. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you later. All right, all right. I'll see you guys. Bye.